Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Lately, I've had a couple stories where I joke that somebody up there likes me because there are stories that I like to talk about, themes I like to talk about on this show. And somebody out there will send me a note and say, Steve, check this out. A couple of your themes have been combined into one story. And it's happened recently a couple times. And I got pummeled in my email from people saying, Steve, it's happened again. Two of your favorite topics have been put together into one story for your enjoyment. From CBS News, Anna Werner wrote this story. Man arrested on cruise ship is latest to be accused of stealing a Hertz car. So we've got the Hertz stolen car theme along with the cruise ship theme. We talked about cruise ships not so long ago because there's that one cruise ship where the cruise ships were on the lam and they got arrested. The ships did. (laughs) So uh, again, a Hertz customer who was arrested aboard a cruise ship last week has become the latest customer to say the company falsely accused him of stealing a rental car. And to make this all crazy is that he was on a cruise. He's on a cruise ship. And that's where he got arrested. Charles Doucette is a pharmacy and healthcare consultant from New Hampshire. Said he was on a Caribbean cruise with his girlfriend. Went back in Florida. Early Friday morning, police came to the door while the couple was sleeping. So the cruise ship had pulled into port. And he got woken up by a knock at the door. We opened it, and it was security for the boat. Customs and border came onto the boat and told me to turn around, face the wall, put my hands behind my back so they could fit him for a pair of handcuffs. He described the incident while sitting in Florida's uh, Brevard County Jail, where he remained Tuesday. This is the most horrific experience of my life, he told CBS News consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner in a phone interview. He is just the latest person saying that Hertz filed a false police report against him. Bankruptcy court documents unsealed last week after CBS News got the records show the company filing thousands of police reports each year, roughly 8,000 every year for four years. Of those documents from claimants, say nearly 3,500 were filed against customers for what's called theft by conversion that involved a renter who lawfully rented a car from Hertz and for which Hertz has payment information on file. So Doucette says he rented a car from Hertz for a business trip last year, and he extended the rental several times following their guidelines. In March, police in Arizona stopped him and told him that Hertz filed a police report saying his rental car had been stolen. So they towed the car, but Doucette says afterwards that um, Hertz charged his credit card the full amount for the rental. So they charged his credit card. They got paid for it. They got paid for it. Yet in August, prosecutors who say they were acting on Hertz's police report took his case to a grand jury who indicted him. And so this is just, it's, it's getting crazier and crazier. And you think at this point that there'd be like a nationwide bullet into all law enforcement. Ignore police reports from Hertz. Ignore them. They're probably bogus. Facing a required court appearance in Arizona, Doucette hired a local attorney and sent documents to uh, get out of having to appear in person. It's not clear what occurred in the local court, but he was arrested then on Friday. He said, I'm one of their best customers, and here I'm sitting in jail. It's just completely absurd that any company would allow something to affect somebody's life. He said he's been an elite President's Circle member and spent over $15,000 with Hertz in 2020 and 2021. I'm sitting here for three days. Tell me that you're treating your customers right, he said. Uh, His girlfriend of 18 years who didn't want to be identified because of her job said he's not doing well at all. I just want him home. I just want answers so we can pick up the pieces and move on. Hertz said in a statement that situations where vehicles are reported to the authorities are very rare and happened only after an exhaustive attempt to reach the customer. The company did not respond to questions about this particular case, but the man now has an attorney who represents him and other people because it's happened to other people. Hertz refuses to correct a police report when they've learned payments were made, when they've learned the car has been returned, or when they've learned there's inaccuracies, the attorney said. Uh, He sent a letter to the company over the weekend asking Hertz to help get Doucette out of jail, He said unless something changes, Doucette will be in jail for a minimum of 10 days 
because he's waiting to be extradited to Arizona. I always thought that uh, the world we live in is innocent until proven guilty, Doucette said. That is guilty until proven innocent now is what's happening to him. So what's going on, obviously, is that there was a car rental that Doucette did in Arizona a while back. He extended the rentals, but for some odd reason, Hertz reported the car stolen. So when the police picked the car up, which they did, Doucette paid for it. So you'd think that would resolve it because he had permission to extend those rentals. He then moved on with his life, and he went on a cruise out in the ocean that left and came back to Florida. When the cruise ship docks in Florida, apparently his name pops up because he passed through customs. Somebody said, oh, there's an outstanding warrant for this guy who went through customs here. So when the boat comes back in, they go on board the boat and they arrest him. So they bring him to a, a jail in Florida. But the outstanding warrant is out of Arizona. So they've got an extradition process whereby they have to do all this stuff back and forth. And then they'll move him to Arizona and the Arizona court will deal with it. When it appears that pretty much everyone here knows what's going on, except for Hertz. And Hertz might know what's going on, but they don't care because they're in bankruptcy. And this is one of those strange things, and I've mentioned before, that if a company goes into bankruptcy, they can discharge a lot of stuff. But there's some things that cannot be discharged. And I am not an expert on bankruptcy in whatever state this bankruptcy is filed in. I think it might be Delaware. Uh, but... The question is, there's all these people making claims saying they were arrested because of mistakes that Hertz made. And the mistakes aren't just the typical run-of-the-mill little mistakes that you might make in everyday life. These are very, very serious oversights. And it appears that they do this thousands of times. They've been made aware of how many times they've done it wrong. And despite being put on notice that you're doing something horribly wrong, they haven't stopped. So it very well could be that this kind of behavior cannot be discharged in bankruptcy. That's, that's what we hope. Now, there's some people out there who say, Steve, um, you know something, this is just business as usual. Any car company that has somebody keep a car too long will call the police and file a police report. I'm sure they do. But guess what? Hertz is in the news over and over and over again. Why aren't we hearing about this from other car companies? If they were doing it, it would make the news, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd think it would, you know. And interestingly enough, Hertz is one of the companies I've never rented a car from. I've never rented a car from Hertz. This is not an endorsement. But I'm just going to tell you I've used Enterprise many times, and I like them because I've always gotten good service. And I'm one of these people where if I use somebody and I like them, I will stay with them. If I have a bad experience with somebody, I will move on and never go back. Never, I mean, literally, uh, no. So I've had good experiences with Enterprise, and I've stayed with Enterprise. I don't see stories about Enterprise or Dollar or any of the other car companies. I don't see stories about them having people arrested. And I have a sneaky feeling if it happened, it would make the news. Because this makes the news. It's newsworthy. So... It's crazy, but there is clearly something wrong with the management and how Hertz is run, whether it's the people, the processes. I don't know if they're overworked and underpaid, but the point is that when they file a police report and go, this car was stolen, how hard would it be to flag the system that when the car gets back into your inventory, you'd have somebody look at it and go, do we need to call the police now and have them remove that? report from their system. How hard would that be? You know, they've got computers now. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you're aware of this. <laughs> they've got these things. But it's, it's a device that sits on your desk and, and it does calculations. And you can ask it to go through data and look for things. And if you find this, notify me. Or if you find this, do this. And it can do things. You could set a program up that when a car comes back into inventory, it automatically kicks a notice out to whoever you gave the police report to, to say, oh, we got the car back. We got the car back. Because for some odd reason, this car was back in Hertz's inventory, according to this story. And at the time it was in its inventory, a grand jury was being asked to indict this man for the theft of it, even though the car was back in the Hertz inventory. 
And so the question is, why is this man being punished and Hertz is not? Because you understand that a grand jury is a very serious thing. So they bring in people and have them serve on a grand jury and a prosecutor appears before them and starts presenting evidence. Some of the evidence, presumably, is from Hertz saying, this man stole a car of ours. Well, the car is in their inventory. That's a very serious problem. If I was the prosecutor in Arizona who convened that grand jury and had them issue an indictment over a car that was in Hertz's possession, I'd be convening another grand jury right now. And I'd be dragging in people from Hertz and saying, please explain to us why it was that you were asking us to indict somebody over a stolen car that was not stolen. Maybe they need to issue some indictments on that. But again, I often have these dreams that never come true. (laughs) But that's where I'd be coming from, so to speak, if I was in Arizona right now. But I'm not. I'm in Michigan. So, the story from CBS News, Anna Werner wrote, Man arrested on cruise ship is latest to be accused of stealing Hertz car. At least he wasn't on a Crystal Cruise Line ship. That would have been... The whole package. But I got to thank everyone who sent to me, including Angelique, Marcus, Donna, Dagoberto, Pat, Carlton, Danny, Al, Suze, David, Ben, Matt, Sarah, Gordon, Mike, Mark, Jim, Edward, Donald, and Joshua. Thanks a lot. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. I've started telling everyone about the benefits of eating dried grapes. It's all about raising awareness.